माय नेम इज भव्या माहेश्वरी एंड आई एम अ सेल्स फॉर मार्केटिंग क्लाउड डेवलपर टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कस्टम प्रेफरेंस सेंटर हाउ वी कैन बिल्ड एंड पर्सनलाइज इट यूजिंग एस एस जेस एन एम स्क्रिप्ट बट बिफोर डाइविंग इन टू इट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज अ प्रेफरेंस सेंटर एंड वाई डू वी नीड इट इन मार्केटिंग क्लाउड अ प्रेफरेंस सेंटर इज अ मार्केटिंग क्लाउड आउट ऑफ द बॉक्स फंक्शनैलिटी विच इज यूज टू मैनेज द प्रेफरेंसेज ऑफ द सब्सक्राइबर्स सो दैट any business communications sent out are always in accordance with the consent it is also helps to store the profile attributes or the personal attributes of the users so that the data with the business is always up to date and does not unnecessarily spam the users with unnecessary data or details now we know that we already have a preference center why do we need a custom preference center at all so or we all know that with the altering trends we need to have our game and keep the ui and the process smooth to enhance the user interactions so to this we have custom preferences preference center to our aid we use it to personalize which shows the user the data that we already have and also smooths the process it with modern navigations and other html and css that we can build that we can use to build it another place where custom preference center is a must is when the child business unit and the enterprise business units are connected to different sales for crm orgs in such scenario it's a must to use a custom preference center irrespective to each business units and manage the preferences separately for all the users in respective business units in that is that are the one of the two of the main reasons why we need we need custom preference center now we understand why do we need a custom preference center without any further ado let's move into a demo what i have built is looking like i have built it with very using very basic html and css which we can always change according to the business's requirement i have done the personalization using amp script which we will see in a bit in the demo and i'm sending the updated data back to the subscribers list into the marketing cloud using ssjs here is is the place where i'm fetching all the current existing data of the subscriber using amp script we are using subscriber key to uniquely identify the subscriber who is on the page right now and fetching the details and showing them on the ui next we are using ssjs to send the data back to the marketing cloud for that we are use we are fetching all the form fields that we have on the custom preference center and storing them into different variables now we are initializing the subscribers list based on the subscriber key to this initialized object we update all the data or which we have initialized using subscriber key here we are fetching the lists or the that the user is part of and gives the functionality to the user if the user wants to opt out from any of the lists and not receive the communications further this is how we are fetching all the details and updating back to the marketing cloud so that the user is not spammed with unnecessary details or sent unnecessary information now let's have a demo of how a user would see so let's say i have sent an email to the user and the user clicks on the link of update profile this is what a user would see this is the existing data of the user and the user is opted in for newsletters now let's say i want to change the user's name and add double k in the name and change in the last name as well and opt out of newsletters after making all these changes i will click update and i will be redirected to a thank you page to see whether the data was actually updated in the back end i will show the link again so that now we know when the, that we added double k here and it is here and we opted out of newsletters and it shows that you are no more opted in because the boxes are not ticked off the user can again change the preferences and it will be again updated back in the marketing cloud in your subscribers list so this is how i have i have achieved a custom preference center 
and we can also use it according to the business's needs thank you so much everyone keep learning